Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Tech Tips with Lyle's TV and Appliance. Today we're going to be covering how to change the water filter on your refrigerator. We're going to start off with a Whirlpool group, which includes Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Now this, this style of refrigerator, the water filter is actually located inside of the refrigerator at the top. To get to it, there's a pull tab you pull out, and then you bring the covering for the filter down. Now this specific filter actually will come down, grab it very gently, do about a quarter turn twist, and the filter will come right out. Put it back in, same thing, twist it to the right, put it up, covers on, simple as that, you just change your water filter. Now when you come in for your water filter, you're going to need a couple of things. You're either going to need the part number for your water filter, which can be found in the books of the refrigerator, or the model number and the brand of the refrigerator. Model numbers are generally located up high towards the front of the refrigerator itself. And this style is actually located down in the toe kick. Now there's a push tab. You go ahead and push that in. It actually pops the filter out. Bring it out. It has a little cap on there that actually locks everything in. Put it back on, small twist, and we go ahead and we push it in until we hear that tab snap back into place. That way we know the filter is in there and secure. If that's not in there all the way, you will get water flowing problems. Next we'll, we'll move on to the Frigidaire series, refrigerators. This specific refrigerator has a filter that you just push in and it pops out. Just two tabs, there's a little slide on the top that lets you know and it lines up the slide up in the top inside of the refrigerator itself. That way you know you can't really uh, mess it up too bad. Push it in, we hear it click, we know it's secure. On this refrigerator, place. refrigerator. The water filter is located in the back right hand corner. We're going to go ahead and take this covering off by twisting it to the left. Now when we take this off, there is going to be some water located in the bottom. If you look right down here, there is a gasket that sits in there. Anything below that gasket is going to have water, so we're going to want to be careful when we take this off. Now to get to the filter, we're going to go ahead and lightly squeeze down and our filter will come right out. Put our new filter in, press up, applying a little bit of pressure, it'll go right into place. Then we're going to go ahead and take the cover, screw it right back on.